following video footage was taken during several recent STEM teacher training workshops I conducted. Analyzing, designing, constructing, and testing parachutes is a favorite among teachers and students. We first begin the investigation by analyzing seeds and how they are dispersed. We then discuss early parachute design. Leonardo da Vinci was inspired by nature and seed dispersal by his triangular shaped parachute. Teachers then analyze different parachute models and how they operate. The teachers are then provided with a wide variety of materials to make a working parachute. They design, construct, and test their parachutes, redesigning if needed. But what I want to know is, if I use a stabilizer at the top, would it keep it floating longer? And then here I have a place where air can flow through the parachute, so I'm planning on trying to put openings in mm. so that we'll have a great airflow. To see if that will also keep the parachute afloat longer. I parachute rather than being on the outside of it. Oh my god. And it will perfect. And it's when I taught science for summer doing ultra light. So I took a piece of string and I actually unthreaded the individual braids so that they would reduce the weight even more. I'm only gonna attach one washer to it. I'm going really small, really lightweight. With a hexagon shaped design, because I think that would work. So I'm going to start with a square shape, and then I notice, well, I can always go from a square and change it into by cutting off triangles, you know, a hexagon or an mm -hmm. octagon. And there'll be string coming off each of the corners here, which will connect to a central point and then have weight hanging down. So I think as long as we can maintain the structure and keep it upright, it will... I want to make the string longer to accommodate it since it's wider. So I'm thinking at least two or three feet per string so that it, um, because I even did two feet and I'm not sure that it'll be long enough. Foot by half a foot. Oh, no, really. It's going to be, I'm cutting it down. <laughs> and then my string is going to be one and a half feet. Um, mass to surface area ratio and the length to surface area ratios and I'm going to try to match it in my model but instead of a hexagon I'm doing an octagon because it has more surface area. Ooh. Oh. Uh oh. Oh. No. You did good. Wow. 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 Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. One. Two, three, four, five, go. One, two, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, go. One, two, three, ready, set, go. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. That was good. Go
want to get the guy down real steady. That's really slow and interesting. Yeah. Oh, that's two, three. 